Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Dating My Budget. My name is Nita and I'm on a journey to becoming a financial warrior. I'm giving myself financial options with the help of zero-based budgeting, the cash envelope system and savings challenges. And today I am stuffing my last paycheck of September. And as you see, we just counted $820. 280 of that was prop cash. And... 150 of the prop cash came from Family Fun. I took the cash and added into my budget of cash stuffing. And I just gave it prop money because this is going to go to new car. And my new car envelope, I stuff with prop bills. I just transferred the, the cash to that sinking fund account. Okay, we're going to get into it. I am happy to be here recording with you guys. It's been a busy week. My schedule has been all the way off. So today, which I'm filming on a Sunday, Sunday is my reset day for to get prepared for the week. So I feel like I'm back on track. So what better way to start the day with cash stuffing? And we're going to do that. I like to start with my cash wallet and groceries. We don't have anything rolled over. So in car juice, I do have quite a bit of rollover due to uh, Ragnar giving me a top off. I was able to save this cash. So what we have in rollover is 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 34. I do have a rollover binder. And we're just going to add this to the back. And at the end of the month... We will unstuff this binder. Most of these, most of the sinking funds in here have a backup envelope. So once they, I set a goal for the majority of these envelopes, once they reach the goal, the cash rolls to the backup envelopes. And I think there's only one other category that needs to be unstuffed. Home goods we didn't spend and dine out. So dine out, if I don't spend during the week, we just roll it to our vacation fund um, at the end of the month. But for now, it's just going to sit in the dine out envelope. The backup dine out envelope. And so that is it for the unstuffing portion of this video. And now we can cash stuff our wallet, get it prepared for the next two weeks. I'm paid by weekly. And so I kind of, I make sure I have enough in my cash wallet to cover me the next two weeks and so with groceries we're going to give it forty dollars which is the normal amount and usually what i'm buying with these forty dollars is the vegetables and fruits for the week any uh seasoning seems to be like a, a hot thing for us like running out of seasoning and so those three things for sure i'm going to pick up and i may pick up some extra items if they're on sale stuff that we typically like our main grocery bill is that's Ragnar take cubs covers that expense so next car juice is getting fifty dollars and i'm changing up the denomination because lately i haven't been having change like tens to um swap out so i'm just going to make sure this envelope is prepared with the denominations i need and so we're going to give it a 20 two tens a five and five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. And this we should have 50, 20, 30, 45, 50. And so what I do with my, um, when I fill up, I use my Discover card. And at the end of the month, I pay that Discover card off from the cash in this envelope. I just pull the cash out that I spend and take it back to the bank. And at the end of the month, I'll just transfer those funds and pay off that bill. The next category to be stuffed is dine out. And that's going to get 25. And 25 doesn't seem like a lot for four people, but usually... It is. We if I use it is for the kids. We're out and about and need to pick up something, or maybe for dinner we'll order a pizza 
or two and we, we always find some kind of discount code so $25 is usually enough and except for tip is it's not enough with tip and I just take that from my miscellaneous but um most of the time we just we cook at home and so from week to or bi-weekly we usually don't use it and so we reward ourselves by whatever we don't spend and dine out. It goes to vacation. Next, the kids' envelope is being stuffed. It hasn't been stuffed in a while. And they're going to get 20. And as an alternate, if I, like, let's say we had a hectic week. We spent the money and dine out. And we need to eat out again. Or the, the kids, I just want to pick up something for them. So, you know, they're taken care of. I can pull the cash from their envelope. Usually, you know, they have their, their debit card, their own cash. So some stuff they cover. And so this envelope, I don't have the stuff as often. But I do like to have something in here just in case. And that is it for my wallet. Beauty still has $20. Ragnar is empty. Miscellaneous still has $20. That's been here for quite some time. And that is it. And the wallet got $135. Move into my personal binder. And I'm usually stuffing just my wellness. And so today that is going to get $30. So we got a 20 and a 10. Let me let me let y'all take a peep. I uh, can't see my pumpkin. Let me see. My tiered pumpkin. Yes, I am a fall girl. Love fall. I picked up the pumpkin from family no dollar dollar tree. And this leaf. I got it in two colors. Like this is like um copper ish. And I got a gold leaf. Got this from Hobby Lobby. When I saw these items, I was like, yes, I need those. I need those in my life. So here they are. <laughs> Not sure why I grabbed the calculator, but we're going to keep it moving. And we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So 179 in wellness. I'm trying to get this to 200, but... um. I, I try to get it to 200 to kind of maintain, but it's one of those revolving um, envelopes, categories that I'm constantly pulling from. So I usually don't see 200, <laughs> but I'm always constantly working to get it to, to, to 200. So that was it there. And now we're going to go into the bill binder, which holds month ahead and month ahead we are going to give it a total of $29. And so that was 20, a five, and four ones, one, two, three, four. So month ahead. Has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $129. My goal every month by the end of the month to have try and get this envelope to $100 so we can stuff it in our month ahead binder. But the last couple of months I've been doing pretty good and reaching the mark and going a little over. The next binder we're going to go into is the family binder. And, oh, the kids need to do their challenges. Um, one thing I noticed from year to year, like after a, a magic month, the following month, check is like 
two or three days <clears throat> before the month end. So I'm kind of pushed to record late. And I feel like it kind of pushes me to be behind because after my, my second paycheck, that's when I do my month ahead binders, stuff in the end of the month, unstuffing and all that. And I can't do that until I do the second paycheck. So we'll be, you know, a whole week into October before I'm pushing out the content for month ahead, um, unstuffing and all that. So I just noticed that it do that. I wasn't, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, time wise, I'm kind of just, I'm a little bit pressed to get things done and edited and out, you know, cause it's a new month. <laughs> But next is a school aid. This is for the kids back to school shopping. And this is going to get 35. So we have 20, 10, and a 5. And I have a tracker that I want to use. Um, but I'm just, I'm like, I don't know. I want to start it next year for some odd reason, but... I just started back this month stuffing for next year. I just need to get it printed and put it in this envelope and get back on track. Because I like to, to see the, the progress in this envelope. So it kind of like, okay, we it's moving, you know, constant and steady. And that those trackers, like added motivation. All right, so moving on to birthdays, that is going to get $21. So 20 and one. So birthdays, I'm definitely going to start like this tracker for birthdays. I'm going to start that next year for sure. Um, this is one envelope that I set a goal at for 500 to hit the envelope, but we'll never see it at 500 because you know every couple months is some somebody's birthday or some kind of celebrations going on. And but I do want to track because I feel like now that is like so much has happened this year, I definitely need to increase the um, the budget for next year for this envelope one way to help me do that is having a tracker we have 50 70 90 110 130 150 55 60 65 66 7 8 9 71 so 171 which i'm more than likely after this video i'll be doing the unstuffing so i can get this cash to the bank i had a few birthdays and celebrations from last month, I'm still uh, paying for. Christmas, I think we'll start that stuff in for next month. So I do have a tracker for that. The next category is experiences. And the kids are getting $10 in here. And so they have 50, 70, 90, 1, 101. And I get to color a icon. I think I'm going to do the ice cream cone. All right, and so these two um, tickets, you get two and one um, for, on my Etsy shop. And so I made a, made a math error on this, um, but that's okay because it's mine. And I wasn't going to reprint and recolor. So, but it is fixed on the Etsy shop. Um, but yeah. And I'm working on getting this updated because there's some new icons I want to use. So we'll definitely see this again and again. Um, and the last envelope in this binder is our RX savings. I'm going to give this $25. So $20 and a 5 And I think I'm 
I'm just gonna work on the 25s for now and knock those out. <clears throat> and so we have 50. At the end of this challenge, we should save 300. And from the other two envelopes, the cash that I saved rolled to six days. Good. And that is it for the family binder. Family binder received $91. And we're going to keep it moving and go into the home and auto binder. And this binder is going to get $229. And the first envelope we have is secure auto, you guys. But this is my insurance. Last year, I overstuffed this category. And well, actually, since the beginning of my cash stuffing journey i've been overstuffing it by five to seven dollars in that range and i've been cash stuffing for three years now and at the end of last year i was able to be a year ahead so the cash we're stuffing here for this year is for next year's premium and what we have in the bank is 500 we're going to add 50 dollars today So, but I don't have a 50, so what I'm going to do is give it 100, take 50 out, and so we have 5, 6, 7, 750 in this category for next year's premium, and my premiums may come in around 1100 and some change. So I stuff a hundred dollars a month. So at thirteen hundred yearly, I have enough, and I still have a buffer in the bank account. So car defense is the category I'm doing a challenge, and I color with you guys. So this category is going to get fifty three dollars, and so that fifty and three. So we have fifteen hundred in the bank, and one fifty-two, two fifty, sixty-five, sixty-six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, one, two. That quick, I forgot. Let's do this. Let's bring out the calculator. So we have fifteen hundred in the bank, and then. 152, 250, 260, 65, 66, 67, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2. So 172. So 1672 in this category. So let's color our jars. I keep forgetting to mention the Etsy shop I received this from in case anyone's interested. But I'm going to link it in the description because I I forgot the name of the shop. Every week it gets 50 or every paycheck it gets $53. And with this challenge, I took the lowest number and the highest number and kind of been working my way to the middle. At number 33 and 20 for a total of 53. Let me make sure I have my piece of laminate there to catch any bleed through. All right, so <clears throat> this is our progress. And, we, you know, we're close to getting done. We got a couple rows finished, rows and columns. You know, it's it's doing what it do. Um, yeah. So it's always motivating to see this, and I wanted to every year. I feel like I need to stuff at least a thousand dollars in my car emergency fund. For one, I have an older car, and it seemed like pairs has been averaging me about six hundred a year.
in this category at a default of thousand dollars a year, you know, I could keep that number in my budget. Um, this year I got a, I doing a 52 week challenge. I should have 1,378 saved by the end of the year. Um, and I wanted to beef this up just a little bit because hopefully next year I'll be getting a new car and I won't have to stuff this heavily as much. I'll probably slice this in half and save 500 annually. And, you know, that money will go towards the new car expense. That's the trade-off. Uh, next is uh, the eatery. And actually, oh yeah, okay. Um, so this category, this is my other contribution to the household groceries. Every three months, we do a bulk meat, meat haul. And I get this envelope to $300. So we can place that order. And... That's the kind of like system that works for us. So I'm going to give it a hundred, put 50 back. And so it has 200. And so at the end of October, we'll be doing the next uh, meat haul. So every paycheck, I try to stuff at least $50. I've been wanting to stuff 55 so I can get ahead a little bit. But yeah, that just, that hasn't been the case at all. Next is HOA, and I'm so excited because, like, who, who is excited about paying the bill? Y'all tell me who. <laughs> but listen, our, um, this week I got the HOA bill, and um, I set a goal for $650, and the bill came in at $640. So I was like, okay, it seems like it hasn't surpassed $25, like, from year to year. But that's the number that I stuck in my head without looking at the bill to to confirm how much it increased. So I was like, I'll just increase this category by fifty dollars, um, twenty five dollars every year. And so, yeah, here we are. And just me doing that, I'm I'm a little bit ahead. So I was excited that you know my little number system that I thought of is working. And then our HOA usually doesn't send us the the bill until like uh, sometime in December. And it's due at the end of January. And I'd be like, yeah, y'all late. I want to know what, how much the bill is in, well in advance. In my mind, it's due December 31st. So, yeah, that's when I pay it. <laughs> HOA is going to get $23. That's the number I've been stuffing this year. 21, 2, and 3. And so we have 300 in the bank. 3, 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 521, is that what I said? Yeah. So... Um, but that's one thing about the cash envelope system. You know, a lot of things you can pre-plan for. You have idea from year to year, month to month, how, however you build to know, okay, well, this is how much this is costing. Let me go ahead and put money aside for X, Y, Z. And... You know, by the time that time rolls around again, you have what you need. Or at least you have 90% of it if you're playing right. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons that I love and stick with this. And it feels so good to have a written budget, to have, you know, see things on paper, in color, the trackers, the challenges. A1. So home decor is going to get a $50 bill. And but it's getting a total of $32. So, so I need to give this back 18. So let's do that. 
We have 10. Five. And these three ones. Kind of did a little bit of condensing in this envelope. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Was that a 50? Yep. So, in home decor, we have 1, 2, 3, 50, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 20, 30, and 40. So, 540 here. Let me put this prop bill. It is a mix of prop bills. In June, we went on vacation and a lot of my sinking funds, well, the majority, I want to say all of my sinking funds, I switched out with prop bills, so that's why you see a decent amount, especially in this binder, um, have a mixture of real cash and prop. I just felt comfortable going on vacation and um, putting the cash in the bank and, you know, filling up my binders with prop money. Next is home defense and this category we saved a thousand last year and I set the goal for this year at 500 and so I'm stuffing $21 and like our home emergency is mainly covered by Ragnar but I just wanted to contribute to that um, those expenses it's kind of like a, us team working that those expenses so <clears throat> we have 1,000, 100, 200, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 380, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1,387. And as I mentioned, the goal here is 500. So at the end of this year, it should have 1,500. And that is it. The purge is fully funded. And for those who are new or may not know, at the end of the year, and every year, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it never fails. Like, I get into that, okay, it's a new year coming. Uh, let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of that. And which I've started this year really early. Um, and then I always find new organization systems that I can add, you know, to make our life that much simpler and help keep organization you know, a part of our lives. So I saved $300 in the purge. So at the end of the year, whatever I'm th uh, replacing and have space for, I can add that new system in. Because I tell you guys, it never fails. It, I always find something. So what better way, what better way to prepare for it than making a sinking fund? So this last binder, long-term binder, I had I was calling it my forever and ever amen. <laughs> it's like no matter what, these will always be around. First envelope is Bank of Nita. And we're going to give this $31. Oh, I did kind of mess up my denominations, but it's still $31 here. Um, <clears throat> but it, I was... I overshot in the ones department. But anyway, so Bank of Nita. It's getting 31. We have 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31. And so this envelope is to help aid me if any category, any of my sinking funds need a loan. I can pull it from here. And when I'm doing cash condensings or bill swaps or just need some change i have one particular envelope i can go to and make the change so the bills in here are gonna vary and it's probably gonna stay a a healthy size envelope so um by the end of the year though it will be condensed a little bit i do want to have a hundred at least 100 250s but the rest 20 tens fives ones that if I stuff $31 every paycheck for the rest of the year 
I'll be able to stuff $366 to cover every day. So it's kind of like that that was the thought process behind it was get this goal number to a dollar of the every day, a dollar for every day. So this year, leap year, so she'll have 366. And so I'll, I'm going to condense this just a little in my next condensing, but it's still going to stay kind of chunky. The last category is our new car. Last paycheck got 130. So with this prop cash, we have we can put our 130 because that's for sure needs to go. And because I completed this challenge, the funds, the 250, is going to go here. But I don't know. You know, it may be less. I'm hoping it's less or right about 150. But if it's more. What I'm going to do is just put the, instead of putting the prop cash in the actual envelope, I'll um, put it before the envelope. Uh, let's just do it and I'll, I'll show you. So, oh, just so I keep this separate, we're going to go ahead and add this and we'll count it once we finish scratching our diamonds. So right now we're about to scratch two diamonds because I need one for the next paycheck so let's cross this out I need one for the next paycheck and one for this challenge so between the two I hope we can get this stuff today I want to I want to be able to condense this envelope um, when I do my unstuffing okay yes look that's 175 so that's definitely gonna be out of my paycheck but I could make it work and just add $25 for my paycheck next stuffing. But it's okay. We're going to keep going. So I'm basically kind of going like um, around the the border. And then when I get in the middle, I think I'm going to zigzag um, those diamonds. But we're just going up. So we're going to keep on moving. Look, look at that. Look at that. So what we're going to do. Oh, I'm scratching too hard. But that that's that's 165. So 165 and 175. So not terrible. We'll do what I said. And this 150, we have. I'm gonna go ahead and condense this because I, I pulled out some extra prop bills just in case I needed change. If it was less than 150. So we're gonna hold this 150, leave it here. And I'll add ten dollars, and then this will be the um my paycheck out stuff, the one seventy five. What we have and what can be condensed in new car is we have three hundred in the bank, and you can definitely find these on my Etsy shop. Well, these two, this one was it didn't make the cut. So, but we got 3000 3, in the bank. So, and then one, two, three, four, five, fifty, six, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, forty, fifty five. So, seven fifty five, three thousand, seven fifty five. At least I'll be able to put another placeholder. In this envelope so that is it you guys that is it we got our 150 for next stuffing and if I finish any $20 Tuesdays I'll probably add that here as well um, but you know that is it and thank you guys so much for hanging out and if you made it this far, leave me a leaf in the comments. And I'll chat with you guys in the next few videos because I'm about to be back filming. Bye, you guys, and welcome to fall.